Hello, YouTube. It has been six months, I think, and I was thinking about a podcast, and then I realized that I think I'm kind of ready to open up more about the things that I have been through, and to be on. A video again, and like usual, no script, no thing. It's just me talking to you as a friend. And let's see where is the energy, and yeah, let's see how things turn out. First of all, I wish you the best, and thank you for. Always being there and waiting for me, and thank you for all the messages that asking how I am, and it's just beautiful when I receive the messages. Sometimes I really wanted to respond, but it just feel right to be quiet. To sit back and really spend time for myself, without all the noise and distraction, and then for the past six months, I, I gonna say that it feels just incredible. So let's go all the way back to November. Um, so after I failed such a huge challenge, I was just thinking that maybe I'm going to step back and study more and back test more. And from then until now, I back test like a few thousand straight. <laughs> that's, that's that's not the main thing. Eventually, after so many proverbs kind of ban all the trader uh, from Vietnam and stuff. I was thinking that maybe profit is not really a long-term game, so I had an idea of trading profit, but also trading light capital, my personal account as well. And as you may already know, light account, your personal account, and profit is just so different. And to be honest, I was not ready back then. And I I was reckless and eventually unlike proper when you have a reset button in real account usually when you lost it just burn all of your capital and that's it and uh, looking it back if when I when I when I mention about it rises. You're gonna feel sad, and you're gonna feel sorry for me, but don't be because after I lost that kind of significant amount of money, I really, really scaled down and really stepped back. I lost so much more, and unlike the other time when I run something and I share with user or Twitter or whatever sit time when I learn something I bug it to practice and it's me trying to recording for myself and trying to journal and reviews and doing a lot of reflection and, and really trying to isolate myself with all the noise and all the information I also spend time to watch more videos from myself, from my old YouTube channel, and when I look back, it just like I doing YouTube is one of the most significant things in my trading path. It 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 basically transformed the whole idea of 
being a traitor. It's, it's, it's like now I can look back and, and see how I'm actually doing. And all the hours that I put into the kind of documentation, it turned out to be so valuable for me to, to look back. So things start to really click in around February and March. Eventually, I I focus so much more on building my consistencies and really scale down massively. Probably starting from 100k challenges and building things up small. Because right now, what I believe is that if you are a good trader, you should never lose an account. Either it's a challenge or a funded account let along the line count and that's what I'm trying to focus on. Basically, that is a short version of what I went through and what I am doing right now is just simply practicing. And one of the most crucial skills is basically risk management and how I really train my way out of chart out, even using very small risk, but building things up over and over and really try to limit that kind of chart out to the the minimal amount so that I can build it up slowly and slowly to make the every curve as smooth as possible. It's not that kind of exciting like before when big payout. It's not exciting like making a lot and feeling good about myself as a trainer and stuff. But it feels so stable. It feels so consistent. And even when I have multiple red days in a row but the feeling when I can control the drawdown to make it really small so that I can actually survive and wait for my green days and then it should feel so right so uh, basically I believe that any strategy works but you got to put more hours into it and really sharpen your skill as a trader and just day in day out and light, light a sport, make yourself better every day. One of the reasons I stopped posting video on YouTube because I I don't really rely on YouTube to make a living. I'm not really rely on any trading cards. Like I put myself in the, the description, either I can trade or I go pro. That's exactly what I still mean it. I want to be a trader. I, I don't want to be someone that talk. I want that when I mention something, mention something that I believe is valuable, I have something to back it up. And that is what I'm trying to do. In the back end, I am I'm going to say that when my right right already my right already right now is my inner peace and building a very fine track record and this track records either is gonna be my FX quote either it's gonna be a progress statement or something that verifiable on the internet and and when I have those kind of things I'm not going to use it to sell you anything. I don't have a intention to be mentor or something. 
and I also don't have an intention to do anything related to trading other than trading itself. I just want to put myself out there and do the thing that resonates with who I am. Just be. So that is a trading path. Now let's go to do something less trading. So there's there a question that I wonder. Every time I say to people that I have been trading for, for 14 years, they laugh and they, they feel bad about They feel sorry for me, but you know what? I wonder what may happen if I was a successful trader like ten years ago, or actually after one or two years, and I got the success. Because throughout my life, money's yes, I make some, I spend some, but it seemed to be not really a problem. It always come up and then I let's say I make some money and then I invest in crypto and I lost some and I make another money and I invest somewhere and I lost and it's the cycle it just keep repeating but overall every year every moment of life I just seem to have a more adventure I just seem to have a more beautiful moments and experiences so at the end of the day, I just feel more grateful and grateful. Even right now, I don't, I don't have a lot of money to be honest with you, but I feel so rich. And I feel so content with who I am. And it just feels so hard to describe it. But at the same time, I believe that That kind of inner peace and that kind of happiness is something that I want to spend the rest of my life to spread. And I feel so. I feel so thankful for myself that I can be. I can be that patient to. To, to survive all the years. Because without the kind of challenge and hardship, I will never be this fulfilled. I, I will never be having this much love and gratitude and, 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 and something that beating in my chest every single mo moment of life just beating 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 and, and and then I wonder to myself that how may I serve Sorry for a little bit of emotion. Right now, my my trading is is very peaceful, and I don't really try to learn something advanced or something big. I, I'm not trying to be go to market. I I just done with that, and it's just me having. A little trading time for myself every day, and I just fully focus there and trade. And after I done with my trade, I journal everything out, and I do the daily review on what should I do better on the next trading session. And at the end of the week, I will review all the daily review, and 
Even in the day that I don't tree, I just show up and uh, I try to mark up some tree that I should have taken if I tree. And then it just feel like I'm getting better, better and better as what I do. And I, I will show you more later on, but so far, like I say, I, I don't want to giving the wrong ideas of how to tree or how to do this and how to do that. It's just my my relationship with trading and the market itself. It is just so much bigger than just financial. Throughout YouTube right now, probably someday, hopefully, I can do live stream and trade and have a good time. But right now, I don't think that I am a level where I can do so. So it's better for me to shut my mouth and guard my sense, step back, keep practicing in the darkness, and train myself. Then when I can take care of myself, take care of my trading, take care of my family, then maybe I can think bigger. In the past, I made a lot of money sometimes, lost a lot of money sometimes, but I rarely, I don't spend, I didn't spend a lot of money for myself, and I didn't spend a lot of money at all. It's just sitting there and just trying to make more and more and then lost more and then make more and then lost more. That's that kind of pattern. It just keeps going. But right now when, when I make money it just feel like it's happy money. It just feel like I can, I can do something good with it. Not good in a way that I'm giving away that money to random people or to some trader to buy free challenge and stuff because I don't believe that bring values at all. I believe that money is just kind of a feasible energy that if we use this right, it can really create some beautiful things. So probably after this video, I'm going to do the same like I say. Snip back a little bit more, as I really enjoy that. I will still use this YouTube channel to document my channel in a way that resonates with who I am. It's not going to be so a lot of video like before, but I will try to keep it alive. Because without YouTube and without doing the kind of documentation and reflection, I will never have I will never be who I am today. It it is the reason that it took me so long in trading. I 
don't think that you're gonna take this long. Because to be honest, I don't love trading. It took me a lot of years to up and down trying different market, and I get so bored with trading, and sometimes I just feel like not sure if it's the right path. But eventually, after so many things and after so many, I found my way to to love trading. To love trading, and it's really unlock a lot of beautiful things that I hope I can share with you later on. Because beside money, which is something that we all chasing for, there are also invisible assets that not everyone gonna see it. But right now, I'm, I'm making my trade very. Per personal, I mean, it's just so fun and it's just so personal for me to just keep it in for myself and keep practicing every day, show up every day, and hopefully in the near future I can show up and share you more about it. At the end, it's more just practicing and being there, do your homework. Come back tomorrow. I don't think there's any secret in trading at all. People try to make it mysterious. People try to make it by their offer or something and stuff. But for me right now, I have no intention to be offer of any concept. And I have no intention to be anyone. Because when you are no one, you can be anyone. And when you label yourself to something, you are just that. A lot of you, a lot of people want to see my video and thinking that maybe it's just an excuse to not post the video and stuff. But there are times I, I am gaining by losing and there are times I actually losing by gaining. Money is doesn't really reflect the the growth. And I'm not saying that in terms of we should not make money because we should. Money is beautiful. Money is my friend. <laughs> and soon I believe that's gonna just come back to me. Because I'm, go I'm ready to do great things with us. There are times that I should be ahead, and this time I believe that I should be behind. And there are times when we should be really ag aggressive. But this time I chose to be conservative. And there are times when we really should push it. But this time I chose to just step back. Without the social media thing, without reading news, without using my phone, without contact with many friends my life is very quiet I mean 
really quiet. <laughs> and when you have a kind of silence, it's just unexplainable. When you disconnect, Somehow you feel so, so connected in a way that you cannot explain. And that kind of connection is something I want to bring to this world. I want to make more people feel that I don't know how. I should do it. <laughs> is that amazing? Thank you again for always The problem of having so much of gratitude in your, your heart is that sometimes just saying thank you in, in front of a camera, you still feel so emotional. That's really why I, I really love the idea of someday, if I can, I, I just met someone and show them exactly how I treat and hopefully they can see it and feel it and find their way to trading because I don't think that one system is gonna fit you all because we are so different in, in terms of human and, and psychology and emotion and, and personality and whatever I got from my trading I'm going to just give it away because the thing about being losing and being lo a loser for so long, so consistent with losing trades, is that you you don't want anyone to feel the same. I mean, if you can go through such a long period, the hardship, the challenge in life, it seems hard. The, the harder it is, the more valuable the lesson and the virtual, the virtue that you got from the hardship. It builds up who you are, just not just a trader, but something, some, something bigger than that. And, but it, it is literally feeling like hell sometimes. That's why I, I I don't think that anyone should go through that. So if I don't make it, then be it. But if I do, then I'm gonna spend the rest of my life not only helping all the traders to do the same, but I'm gonna do it my way, and I'm gonna do so much more but maybe not online not always about the online world someday let's connect and uh, yeah I, think, I, I guess that's it it is too long already ready and see you the thing about my view it is very <laughs> like spontaneous and not only that I am in the mood of talking and I refer to be alone I refer to I know that some a lot of people refer networking and having more friends in their circle to make things bigger and bigger but for me for my kind I love being alone I don't have a lot of friends, but I have a lot of bad friends. So, see you someday. Thank you. Thank you. Happy trading. Let's make it. <laughs>